hey, thanks so much for taking this play on at the last moment. We've had an unbelievable time finding a suitable director. Well, it's my pleasure. Yeah. I'm a great big fan. I think you're the finest actor of your generation. Uh, I've seen all your films. Yeah? Yes. Let's just uh, jump right into it. Stop at the start at the top of Act Two, Scene Two. Go ahead. I received a letter in the mail yesterday, Charles. I've been expecting this news, Sandra. Why? Uh, good news for you and bad news for me. Good news for you, bad news for me. Sorry. That's not a problem at all. Please continue. You know how long I've wanted a child. I nearly have enough money saved up for us to leave and start a family. You can't be making all that money at the factory. Tell me, were you involved in that bank Nine. robbery? <laughs> Uh, in that bank robbery last week, but you just yelled for a line in the middle of her line. <laughs> her line. Wait, what was the last part? What, you're adding lines? Are you trying to alter the play of Bond Grant, right? we've been through this with the last four directors. <laughs> yes, and surely you must know the difference between the play's dialogue and my own comments. <laughs> I, I think you're asking a little bit much from your actors, okay? Uh, know the difference between our lines and your comments, memorize our lines, where to stand. Uh, but you clearly haven't memorized the lines. So look, going forward, if you get stuck, just improvise something that would make logical sense if you were having a real conversation. <laughs> Improv. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Were you involved in that bank robbery last week? Well, uh, I, I steal from the rich and give to the beautiful. Um, I, I feel stuff, and um, I just, I just thought that you know you you uh, you like liked me, and uh, you know that band R.E.M. and the song. Uh, that's me in the corner. This play is set in the thirties. Yeah, I know that, Julia. It's just it's surprisingly difficult to know lines and details from a play that I wrote. Uh, wait a minute, you wrote this? Yeah, it's semi-autobiographical. <laughs> well, then I think it would be especially easy for you to remember the lines. But I guess that's asking too much. So let's just continue at the top of uh, page 46. Go ahead. Oh, these city rolls are too extravagant. Well, I only wish to prove my love for you. <laughs> this is made by the finest makers of, of corn. Uh, the finest makers of corn. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> really? You forgot the word while you were saying it? You forgot the word in the middle of saying the word? <laughs> you know what? We're going to try something new. Let's just sit here until you remember it. <laughs> you wrote this, Grant. <laughs> There's only one way that that word could possibly end. It starts with corn, brrr, and then... <laughs> what are you eating in the final scene, Grant? Cornbread. Cornbread and then I kill her. Yes, very good. No. Think ahead, but don't say or do anything to spoil the play. Yeah, I think I know what I'm doing. I wrote this. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go back to the old way. When you need something, just call for a line. Continue. Um, oh, sweet Sandra. We never would have crossed paths if it hadn't been for that assembly line. Line. <laughs> the line is line, you are right. You are right. Let's just continue. Let's go to the final scene. Standing? Yeah. Yeah, stand up. I've been searching for you. I don't care who you've plundered. Take me away with you. In love, there is no guide. Why? <laughs> Fine. Uh, for, for my heart is filled with powerful Jenna lines. <laughs> line. <laughs> I'm trying to line, 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 you idiot. Yeah, no, look, why are you interrupting the scene, man? I knew my lines that time, obviously. Look, have you ever been like directed a play before? Yeah, have you, you were emphasizing the last syllable of every word like you were asking a question. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's how, uh, you know, I interpreted the scene as an actor. <laughs> well, that's a terrible choice for an actor to make. No one in the history of the world has ever said, Guy, lie. I'm trying to lie. <laughs> People don't talk like that, Grant. <laughs> Finish the play. Please. Um, soon we will start a family and build a home. And outside we'll have the clothes. Line. 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 Clothes line. Line. Do your job and help me. 
<laughs> you had it right, Grant. Closed line is the only thing that could possibly work better. Actually, this one's closed hamper, which I always thought was weird because those are usually kept inside. No. But when I was a kid, that's what we did. You know what? <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't care how famous you are. I cannot work with you, and I cannot work on this horrible play. So I quit. But be sure to pick up the paper tomorrow, because I bet that this is going to be a great headline. Oh. <laughs> Title. Uh, Bolton. <laughs> Wait, I know this one. Good statement. A lot of statement. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Head idiot? It's not even gonna work. <laughs>